I would say when I got my first pair of running running feet, uh, the carbon fiber uh, feet that kind of looked like a C, my C sprints, uh, that that was a moment that I realized that te the technology and my prosthetics were finally able to keep up with what I'm doing. And now, and, and, and about and about what year was that? I would say that I got my first pair of running legs. I would say in 2001. Uh, so I was I was still quite a young guy. Uh, I got my my first pair of running legs and around that same time technology started to be integrated with prosthetics and that's when really the first computer microprocessor uh, uh, legs came out in in the early 2000s and and I, that was the moment i realized that you know we're we're heading into a whole new era of prosthetics where they're no, lo no longer made of wood they're no longer made to look like a actual real leg they're now made with technology and that is going to allow Allow individuals with limb loss to to really really do any and everything, whether it's hiking, whether it's running, or whatever it is. We were going to be able to live a life without limitations, and 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 now the prosthetics I that I have on now are really the fourth generation of microprocessor uh, uh, legs, and so I've seen uh, the, the advancements, and you know, I'm just it's 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 a uh, you know it's it's amazing to be part of the the community, and and to, I can't wait to see what they're going to be like in the next 10 to 20 years.